Ryan loves to play basketball, and so he, when he tested positive, we thought, well, you know, he'll just do the mandatory 10, 15 days, whatever it was, and then you get medically cleared and it'll be good. There's this return to play protocol, and it's designed to protect athletes. And when we went through the protocol, you have to get a physician to sign off saying there are no cardiac issues, because evidently this myocarditis is one of the potential side effects. Not common, but it's, it's there. It was initially a doctor over at Banner University. We saw the cardiologist and he's like, well, he did the EKG, perfect. Echocardiogram, perfect. Great heart, elevated enzyme, can't let you play. It's just not worth the risk. This is serious. That's when it came to a screeching halt. I didn't want to hear that news, but I was grateful. Instead of having Ryan go out on the court and something really bad happened, you drop dead from sudden cardiac arrest. I'm very glad that they had that protocol. If I was like in other districts or something, I would have just gone back and probably caused myself damage. If I were talking to a hypothetical parent, perspective is everything, and you have to look at what you stand to gain and what you stand to lose, and it's not worth it to put your son or daughter out there on the quarter of the field short term because in the back of your mind if you're thinking what if the peace of mind to know that you've done the right thing for your son or daughter and you've left no stone unturned to take care of them i was really bummed because i was out for like two or three weeks that's barely anything compared to permanent heart damage i want to leverage what's happened to us to help other parents to number one just help educate them and then also to protect the, their kids. Even if we can help save one kid, Ryan and I were talking about that, if it could just be one person, something like that, that's, that's huge.